Welcome to M Health and Info, your ultimate source for all things health and wellness. Join us as we explore the latest in medical science, debunk health myths, and provide expert insights to empower you on your health and wellness journey. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, and let's explore the world of well-being together. This is M Health and Info, where knowledge meets vitality. Trauma-related disorders including post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) have a deep history, dating back to ancient civilizations. Today, our understanding of these conditions has evolved significantly, leading to effective treatments and prevention strategies. Symptoms can include intrusive memories, avoidance behaviors, negative mood changes, and heightened arousal. Treatment typically involves a combination of therapy, medication, and supportive interventions. While prevention is challenging, early intervention, trauma-informed care, and building strong support networks can help mitigate the impact of trauma and promote healing and resilience. History of Trauma-Related Disorders Trauma-related disorders have been recognized throughout history, although they were not always understood or classified in the same way as they are today. Ancient civilizations often attributed symptoms of trauma to spiritual or supernatural causes. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that trauma-related conditions began to be formally studied and classified as distinct psychiatric disorders. The concept of PTSD emerged in the aftermath of World War I and II as mental health professionals observed symptoms such as shell shock or combat fatigue in soldiers returning from war. Since then, research into trauma-related disorders has expanded, leading to advancements in diagnosis, treatment, and support services for individuals affected by trauma. Symptoms of trauma-related disorders. Trauma-related disorders can manifest in various ways, but common symptoms include intrusive symptoms, recurrent distressing memories, flashbacks, or nightmares related to the traumatic event, causing significant distress or impairment. Avoidance symptoms, avoiding reminders of the traumatic events such as places, people, activities, or conversations to prevent distressing memories or emotions. Negative changes in mood and cognition, negative beliefs or expectations about oneself, others, or the world, distorted blame or guilt, persistent negative emotions such as fear, horror, anger, guilt, or shame, diminished interest or participation in significant activities, feeling detached from others, and persistent inability to experience positive emotions. Arousal and reactivity symptoms, irritability, aggression, reckless or self-destructive behavior, hypervigilance, exaggerated startle response, difficulty concentrating, or sleep disturbances. These symptoms must persist for a specified duration and significantly impair social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning to meet the criteria for trauma-related disorders. Treatments for trauma-related disorders. Trauma-related disorders are typically managed with a combination of medication, psychotherapy, and supportive interventions. Common treatments include Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, specifically trauma-focused CBT, including exposure therapy and cognitive restructuring, is considered the first-line psychotherapy for trauma-related disorders. These approaches help individuals process traumatic memories, challenge negative beliefs, and develop coping skills to manage distressing symptoms. Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing EMDR. EMDR is a specialized form of psychotherapy that involves recalling traumatic memories while engaging in bilateral stimulation, e.g. eye movements, facilitating the processing and integration of traumatic experiences. Medication. Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors, SSRIs, Serotonin Norepinephrine Reuptake Inhibitors, SNRIs, and other antidepressant medications may be prescribed to alleviate symptoms of depression, anxiety, and arousal in individuals with trauma-related disorders. Mindfulness and Relaxation Techniques Practices such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, and yoga can help individuals reduce stress and anxiety, promote relaxation, and improve emotional regulation. Supportive interventions, providing a supportive and validating environment, psychoeducation about trauma-related symptoms, and connecting individuals with peer support groups or trauma-informed resources can also be beneficial. Prevention of trauma-related disorders. While it may not be possible to prevent trauma-related disorders entirely, certain strategies may help reduce the risk or minimize the impact of trauma. Trauma-informed care. Implementing trauma-informed approaches in healthcare, education, and other settings can help create safe and supportive environments that minimize the risk of re-traumatization and promote healing and resilience. Early intervention. 
Recognizing and addressing trauma-related symptoms early can prevent them from worsening and reduce the risk of developing chronic trauma-related disorders such as PTSD. Trauma-sensitive education. Providing education and training on trauma awareness, resilience building, and coping skills can help individuals develop adaptive strategies for managing stress and adversity. Social support networks. Building strong social support networks and connections with friends, family, and community resources can provide a buffer against the effects of trauma and promote recovery and well-being. Community resilience building. Investing in community-level interventions such as disaster preparedness, trauma response teams, and access to mental health services can help mitigate the impact of traumatic events and promote resilience at the population level. By understanding the history, symptoms, treatments, and prevention strategies for trauma-related disorders, individuals, families, communities, and healthcare providers can work together to support those affected by trauma and promote healing, recovery, and resilience.